And good morning, boys and girls. It's Saturday the 16th. Yes, Saturday the 16th of May 2015. Welcome to this morning's United Kingdom talk. Today, also coming to you via the wonderful world of Periscope. Greetings, boys and girls. Uh, you may notice a brand new mirror ball is now hanging in the studio. After Mike in Brighton went on and on, because we did a live show on uh, Wednesday night, which uh, uh, I bet you missed it, didn't you? We did a live show on Wednesday night, and Mike uh, has got that OCD thing. You know where everything has to be like in a perfect spot and everything has to be clean and dust free? Ah, don't ever come to this house, dear. God's sake. I can Do you know, I can barely see you through the camera because of the amount of dust that's floating around in his house. I really can. But anyway, he, sp he, he managed to actually spot that some little squares of mirror were missing. Not only did he spot that there were some squares of mirror missing, he counted them. He said, there are seven small squares of mirror missing. Can you sort that out? And I looked behind me, and he was absolutely right. There were exactly seven squares <laughs> of m missing from the mirror. So I had to go and buy another one. Cool. And do you know what? That mirror ball has been hanging up in here for years. So now I have a redundant mirror ball and I don't know what to do with it. Should I have some sort of competition? See, the trouble is doing competitions now on radio. It's all very easy. Good morning, Terry. Terry H is with us this morning. Morning. Morning, Terry. He's with us via Skype. Oh, let me put the uh, Skype information and the phone number up there. Uh, we're going to hope to speak to uh, Millie today in Minnesota. She's going to be calling in uh, a little bit later on, boys and girls. Uh, but the uh, uh, Mirable, uh, I thought about having some sort of competition. Um, to win the old mirror ball. You see, you see, boys and girls, you're not just winning a, an old mirror ball, are you? You are winning the mirror ball from the mirror ball studios of United Kingdom Talk, which I have owned. You know, if you was to win that, you'd probably put it on eBay or something like that. And, you know, it, it would go, I would imagine, for thousands of pounds. It really would. Now, I did think about perhaps giving it to a charitable institution, perhaps a, a cat's home or, you know, the dog repatriation society or save a donkey from walking around the streets of Spain or something like that. I did think about giving it to a charitable, even indeed the Catholic Church, of which I am a member in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace. Uh, good morning to... Morning, AD. Oh, you've joined us for the live show today, AD. You've joined us for the hour-long show. I did think about it, but given it to the Catholics, I quite like the idea, to be honest, of being at church on a Sunday and then, you know, maybe, maybe not for the whole Mass, but certainly for the hymns. You, could, you know, the priest could push a button and a couple of mirror balls would come down and turn with various nice soft coloured, perhaps pink and yellow lights revolving round on the mirror balls while we're singing the hymns. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. Is that a good idea? Do we have any Catholics watching this morning, perhaps, who, who think that might be a good idea? Or my best, my best friend, Ronnie, now he's Jewish. And maybe, perhaps, a little mirror ball hanging somewhere in the synagogue. That, you know, could liven things up a little bit. What do you reckon? Any suggestions on that at all? You know, do let us know. Now, there's an email address. If you want to join in by email at any time, please feel free to do so. My email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. So we don't know what to do with the mirror ball. If I, if I do, like, a set of questions, yeah, the trouble is, people will just quickly go on to Google and Google the answers and send them through. And that to me is it's just not, it's no fun. Since Google came along, we are rather well informed. But don't you feel that the fun of life has been taken away, boys and girls? I can't sit here and have a little bit of a joke with you without you having to look it up and saying, oh, no, no, you can't say that and all that business. We go back to the offence thing, don't we? Again? Can't say that. It's offensive. It's offensive and all that business. You, you, we can't do that. Michael's back. Hello again, Michael. So I don't know. How, how, what should I do with the mirror ball? Any suggestions, please? 
What should we do with the mirror ball? We could give it away back to a Periscope viewer. You know, for maybe someone who sends the most hearts. But then that's kind of begging for hearts. Oh, there's one bloke on Periscope, I must tell you. Oh, oh, Christ. And he is, he's a right know-all. You know, oh, oh, hello, I'm here to give you... Hello, you guys. I'm here to give it, give it to a boa. What's a boa? What's a boa, Michael? I don't know what a boa is. Give it to a boa. Is that like a like a cryptic question? Anyway, there's this bloke on, on Periscope and he's very, 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 very important person. Oh, he loves it. And he keeps calling everyone, you guys. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. You guys. It's not you guys. It's all right, lads. All right, people. Hello, everyone. It's not you guys. It's not you guys. This is not an American state, dear. I'm not a you guys. I'm a person. And then he gives these tips on Periscope, right? But he never gets to the bloody point. He goes round and round the bushes. And like 15 minutes into his little broadcast, you might get tip number one. And he goes on and on and on. And then... And then, right, get this, because you know about the love hearts on Periscope. Oh, you don't all know. OK, let me explain to you. So on Periscope, it's like a little video thing. If you tap your screen, you can send me love hearts. OK, if you like what's going on or maybe like me, you just tap your screen a couple of times. There you go. Someone's doing it now on Periscope. Oh, I can show you this. Look, I can show you this. Actually, now this will be interesting to you, right? So the people on Periscope, right, they're on here. They're watching me through a mobile phone, OK? And I'm broadcasting it through a mobile phone. This would be of interest because you can actually see this happening. Right. Now, if I turn that round to you, right, the Periscope people will see the camera that carries the live show, which is there. OK. The camera that records the whole show, which is here. Now, those of you watching the live show and the recorded show can now see the Periscope camera which is here. And can you see down there in the corner, love hearts? Love hearts are coming up. Now, someone's sending those. Uh, they are brown. Oh, OK, there's quite a lot coming through now. Can you see them coming up there? The little love hearts? Right, that means someone or some people are enjoying what's happening. OK? So that gives you a little clue at how everything kind of works here. It's Is it technical? Um... Yeah, it is a bit, I suppose, but doing it on the iPhone is actually a lot easier than, let's just move that across, that, than, than, than doing it through, through all the other stuff there. OK, so there we are. That, that's how it all works. Now, now at last, people who haven't got Periscope can actually see it and that people send you love hearts. So I thought about doing that. And, and this bloke again, the one who's on Periscope and gives you the tips, he then says, um, if you like what you're seeing, send us some love hearts, right? And then he says, then he says, um, I'll give a prize to the people who send the most hearts. And the prize is that I will follow you back. You know, like it's some sort of, I don't know, wonderful thing to be followed back by this bloke. That's the prize. Send Because all he's doing is collecting love hearts. How sad is that? You know, he's asking people to like him and do the love hearts. Now, I would say to you, if you want to do it, fine, that's, that's lovely. It's a nice thing to do, send people hearts. But I'm not, certainly not going to sit here and beg for them. Begging to be loved? Do me a favour, will you? Oh, <laughs> love arts all over the place. Hello, Ant. Welcome to our hour-long show. So what are we going to do with it? Now, Terry H says, give it away to a viewer. Maybe a question that is hidden in the depths of your old shows. That's a, that's a, that's a good... Uh, now, I could do that. Oh, or how about, how about this one, Terry? Uh, how about on the show... Dated the 20th of November 2013. How many words did I speak in that show? How about a question like that? Would that work? <laughs> so this old mirror ball, you know, it's still OK. There's a couple of little square mirror, ball, mirror things missing. But, it, but I'm gonna, I, I don't know what to do with it. I really don't know what to do with it. My, my mirror ball there. 
Maybe if you've got a suggestion, then send it through. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk is my email address. Uh, Also, boys and girls, uh, you can join in by Skype. Or uh, the Skype username is, all one word, United Kingdom Talk. Okay? The Skype username is, all one word, who is sending me all those love hearts? United Kingdom Talk. Ant reckons I said 102,911 words. I don't know, (laughs) Ant. I haven't counted them myself. I'm not going to be... Actually, I know someone who likes counting. He's got a calculator and he's always got his calculator out. I cannot reveal who it is because they may be watching this show at the moment. Dan. (laughs) Dan Wood. Oh, he's oh, constantly got his calculator. He's a bloody accountant, he is. He he manages this bar, right? And he's on the calculator all the time, working down to the nearest penny how many shots he can get out of a bottle and all that business. <laughs> Christ, oh, it's, it's very sad. All the time he's... Oh, where's my calculator, by the way? Where's that today? <gasps> Emergency, no calculator... Oh, my God, what if I need to do a calculation suddenly? I don't know where I've put that. Anyway, it's not important, is it? Don't need that. He's on his calculator all the time. You know, oh, I'm getting embarrassed about those love arts that you're sending now. Stop it now. Too many love arts on there. <laughs> we got a call coming in. It's a uh, mini... Mil, sorry, not mini. Millie in Minnesota. Hello, Millie. Hello. Good grief. After all these years, can't you get my name right? <laughs> Millie in Minnesota. Hello, darling. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Aren't you looking me especially dapper today? Oh, what the the ja- I've been wearing this jacket for what? I've got a few different jackets in the um in the cupboard. I know. What is, what's the matter? Are you sick? You never wear jackets. What's the, what's up? <laughs> well, uh, I that's the whole, that's the whole thing. They're in the cupboard, and you know, to be honest, it's my best mate Ron. He's saying you look such a tramp all the time. So about I think, I think about. <laughs> About four so weeks ago, up. I started wearing wearing these just to do the shows, and I think I think it's improved things, don't you, Ma- uh, don't you, uh, Millie? You do look dapper, but Ronnie, I I love you to bits, dear, but you do need to shut your gob, okay? I mean, Chris is crap. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, I'm so glad that you said that and not me. I'm constantly telling him to shut his mouth all the time because he just goes on and on and on sometimes. You know, you walk well, past, you, you know, the last thing you want is to walk past someone in the street and for some reason they might say something and then you're stuck there for half an hour. I just walk off in the end. I yep. walk off now. I just walk off. Yep, it's... Well, I mean, Ronnie's my Ronnie's my friend, just like you are. Yes. Yeah, but not as close as me, eh, my No, 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 no. Thank but you, Millie. Thank I you. can get I can get away with telling him off. You, <laughs> you possibly can't. I can. <laughs> so I get Ronnie, away. I get Ronnie, away. I get away with telling him off all the time, Millie. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't listen to you. No. Yeah, yeah listen. Yes. Was it was it a year since you um oh someone wants to know the phone number. Okay, it's uh O two O eight one double four three four double seven. But you can't call at the moment because I'm already on a call. If if I'm on a call, I can't take another one. So wait wait for Millie to finish and and then you'll be able to call in, my friend, alright? Anyway, Millie, carry on, darling. Yeah, it's been oh gosh, it's been a, a year and a bit now, yeah. Yeah, it has. It has. It has indeed. Oh, that's gone quick. That's really gone since, quick. Is that since you was here over a year ago? Yes. Uh huh. Gosh. And what, when did you come? Was, what? My what? mother was. My mother was with you too at that time. What? What and month? What month did you come? I can't remember. It was April of last year, sweetie. Gosh, I can't remember. It's, I can't believe it's a whole year. I don't remember it being particularly cold though, because it's usually cold here in April. No, it, it no, wasn't. Was it really it? wasn't. I mean, no. the weather the weather really cooperated for us. Yeah, yeah. At uh, this time, or that time. Funny, that not it? I'll do your number again in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Gosh. So, um, what's it like there at the moment? Is it warm, cold? It's it's gonna get warm this weekend. Yeah. And you know, it's been really rainy here the last couple of weeks, which is good. Yes. Because Minnesota has been very much parched. Oh, and, are you in the drought so, like California? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, because they've been not as bad. They've I mean, been not as bad, but certainly 
Um, where I live, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of farmland and yes. the crops have suffered. So the, the rain is a welcome, you know, of is course, a welcome yeah. thing yeah. indeed here. Yeah. But California's been in a drought for years, hasn't it now? I mean, yeah, really, a it, long, long time. It's really bad there. Really bad. Really bad. Did they ever do anything about, like, maybe getting the water from somewhere else? I don't know. They're, they're, try, they're trying to right now. Of course, there's... Ugh, don't even get me started. There's all kinds of political gobbledygook there, going. Well, we have, we've had it here, as, as you well know. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, we've had it here. The, the thing is here... Right, Millie. Now, now this is a thing here, right? So, mm -hmm. doesn't matter who you voted for. I'm, you know, I'm not bothered who you voted for, right? But the fact is, um, an election has taken place, and there is a clear winner, right? So that's it. You'd think that would be the end of it, and indeed, I think over the years, you know, certainly when I was younger, that that was it. That was mm -hmm. it. The election is done. It's over. That's a government, like it or lump it, that's it. But people are doing nothing more than moaning and moaning and moaning all the time, you know. And of course, and, 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 the, and the reason, and one minute, I've dropped my pen. And the reason is they didn't get the result they wanted. Now, this, this, this moaning seems to keep happening now. It happens uh, here all the time, Chris. Well, it Millie, really at the moment, uh, so the Conservatives won the election. They're in power. That's it, right? But yeah. we've we've had people coming out onto the street and going to the houses of Parliament and, and saying, you know, it, it's all a blooming fix and all that. Um, we, There's we've a got, lot of stuff happening. Oh, oh it's There's awful. Oh, we, it's we've, awful. We've, we, we've got people screaming, oh, no, no, well, we not need to have another election. No, we don't need to have an ele ele another election. You know, the people have spoken. People are just mad because the not people everybody have voted. spoken. And, and now uh, the latest thing they all want is a, a vote on proportional representation. Now, do you understand what that is or not? No, and right. nor do I care. <laughs> right. Well, let me explain. At the moment, here in the UK, we have a first-past-the-post system, OK? So if you think of a pie chart, right, like a circular pie chart, and yes. cut it in half, anyone that goes just over the half is the one that wins, OK? okay. So the one, the single party with the most votes get to govern the country that's how it works now it but but you've got to get over that halfway mark you must be and you've only got to be just over it as indeed this the, the conservative governments managed to get just over the halfway mark now all the polls that they did before the election were not saying this however on the night that's what happened so in my head, right, the people have yeah. spoken, that's how it is. So now they're all moaning, well, we should have proportional representation. So that means um, that, that there were certain parties, such as UKIP, right, that got quite a good percentage of the vote. I think something like 10 or 11%. But they only got one seat in the House, right, because... We don't use the system of proportional representation. So those very same people now that are moaning about who is governing the country, which just happens to be the Conservatives this time, those very same people who are moaning are now screaming that we need a vote on proportional representation. But three years ago, we had such a vote. And by far, and it was, it was quite a high percentage of the vote i think it was like 70 or 80 percent um by far, perhaps someone could look that up for me now and send us a skype message or an email and tell me what that is what was the results of the proportional representation vote in 2011 um, or 12 i would guess one of those two 10 11 or 12 so we had this vote and people decided to stick to the system that we've got now that we have a government in that probably those same people don't want. They're all moaning again 
for another proportional represent proportional rep uh, representation vote. But we only had one three years ago. Do you see what I mean? So yeah. because they don't get the result they wanted, they're screaming and stamping their feet. You've never seen anything like it. I'm telling uh, you now. Yes, I have, Chris. Uh, you think you've got that over there, and I'm not disputing you because it is bad over there. But the same thing happens here all the time. Um, case in point. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, uh, sure, I'm sure that you've been watching, well, or somewhat keeping an eye on keep it an eye the, keep it an eye yeah go on. An eye on the on the baltimore shootings of michael michael brown and the grand jury that elected not to indict the police that that shot that poor young man is that the right? black lad yes yes i remember yes yes uh well i mean it's not it wasn't an electoral vote but I mean, we had pretty much the same reaction yeah. when people, when the grand jury made its decision not to indict um, the police officers that shot Michael Michael Brown. Yes. We oh, yes. Had, I see where you're coming from here. I see where you're coming from here. Yeah. 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 And, you know, OK, I, I get that people were angry. I, I get it. I get it. I understand it. Yeah. But going out and acting like animals yourselves isn't going to help anybody's cause. No, it no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, Terry H has just uh, told me, yeah, it was 67.9% who voted no to stay as we were and 32% voted um, no. OK, so the yes has had it. So we stayed with the system we've got. Um... Got to go. I cannot stay. Okay, cheerio now. Nice that someone, someone's just leaving the show there. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this far. Okay. Um, yeah. So the people go out, and those that don't get the result they want, they moan and stamp their feet like little children. I'm sorry, and that's exactly how it is. Now we've had some other examples of this over the years. Over the years, and um, there was the Irish. There was there was a vote in Irish. Something about. Europe. I can't remember what it was, right? Uh -huh. But it it may well have been to join the Euro. I can't remember now. And the Irish voted. The Irish voted not to go along with this thing, whatever it was. I can't remember. Right? Mm. So it then went back to the Europeans who said, what do you mean they voted no? Oh, no, no, no. That, that's the wrong thing. So then... They changed some bits and pieces in this thing, whatever. I can't remember it was, some sort of manifesto. And then, like, within the space of a very short time, went back, put it to the vote again and got a yes. I mean, mm. they'd already given you the bloody answer once. And then all these top knobs in the European started stamping it. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong answer. Oh, no, we can't have that. We'll have to ask them again. And they just asked them until they got the answer they wanted. See, I won't vote. And see, the reason I won't, and I've never voted in any election. I've never voted in any election, nor will I ever. And the reason I won't is because, yes, the votes are counted, but it's just a formality. Once the once the politicians are in anywhere, they're just in for themselves anyway. They won't listen to anybody. Yeah. Any of their constituents. Uh, it's you know it's a joke. It yeah, really I see. I see what you're saying there. And we had another example only last year, right? So we have Scotland. And uh, yeah, I as, was there when that vote happened. Well, I was actually as, right in as an Englishman, I love Scotland very much. I love the Scottish people and all that, OK? I would never, ever want to part from Scotland. Um, Ant wants to know, what's the international code for the UK? Double O, double four. OK, double O, double four. I'll give you right. the whole number in a second, Ant, OK? And um, so they, they had this vote on Scotland, right? Yep, I remember. Whether... I whether or not to separate from England. And uh, I think just over half of the Scottish people decided they wanted to stay with England. They asked for that vote. 
they got that vote and just over half of the Scottish people decided to stay with England, so that's what you follow through. Oh, well, of course, once again, you hear them start, those that didn't want that result, start screaming and shouting and stamping their little Scottish feet, moaning, no, no, this is the wrong answer. What do you mean it's the wrong answer? Most people voted for that, so it's the right answer. And, and, and this is the thing. And now, and now, of course, um, we've had this election and the Scottish, uh, that, the Scottish National Party won loads and loads of seats up, up in Scotland. Loads, like, I think, 53 out, 56 out of 59, some, something very close like that. So, so almost the whole of Scotland went with the Scottish Nationalist Party. And, of course, now they're screaming and shouting, well, we want another vote. Well, you only had one last year. You only had one last year. And I think, this is what I think is happening, Millie. Right. Unfortunately, those that shout the loudest, right, they're all the ones that are complaining. It's the people that stand there and sit there screaming and shouting, oh, we want it this way, we want it this way. We were, oh, And I know people like this. Believe me, I know people like this. When I'm doing karaoke nights or DJing, you know, oh, someone boy. comes up and they, and, you know, I'm not saying that they speak louder than anyone else, but they go on and on. And when's my song coming on? Well, it doesn't work with me, sunshine. You wait your turn in the queue and that's it. I don't care. And you can come out with all the excuses in the book. You know, uh, I've got to go. Uh, my bus is coming soon. The last train's leaving. My mum's sick in hospital. I've got to get married. To me. You've heard it so many times. Time and time again. The same old right. bloody excuses. <laughs> and they think because they shout the loudest, they're going to get their own way. Well, it's not going to happen with the bloody election, and it doesn't happen with me either. But just because you don't like the result, just because you do not like the result that the majority... The majority of people have put that X on there. And I don't care what government's in there. I don't care. It just happens to be... It could have been Labour. It could have been, could have been any of them. Just because you don't like the result does not give you the right to stand there and scream and shout, we want another vote. No, yeah. you had your vote. I bet you didn't even come out and vote. And because perhaps you didn't vote, maybe that's why that particular government got in. No, the majority of the people, and I think, I think what's happened is it's been won by silent voters. Now, if, for example, you put your, um, because of, and social media's got a lot to answer for here, right? If you've got on your Facebook or your Twitter or your Google Plus or whatever that I can I've never, never get my head around that one. Google Plus. <laughs> I've never been any good at that. If you if you pin your colours to your wall, you will get abuse. Doesn't matter which way you're voting, you will get abuse. You really will. People that don't agree with you. And because of that, because of that, when the poll people went round and said, Who are you gonna vote for? People either lied or didn't tell them, depending what they thought the person asking was, right? And this has been won by secret voters, of which I am one. You know, I, I voted for someone, and I didn't tell you anyone who I voted for. It's been won by secret voters because they didn't want people shouting and screaming their feet, no, you should vote for them, and that's it. No, the majority of people voted that way, and therefore... That's it. Like it or lump it. That's who the majority have voted for. Now sit down, shut up and wait for your turn in another five years time. See, I see. I'm set, I'm probably setting myself up for a lot of abuse here by, um, you know, by some people. Because, see, I refuse to vote in any election. I, I just absolutely refuse to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, does someone just come up there? The Conservatives only got thirty percent, thirty-seven percent of the vote. Yeah, that's absolutely true. But, but that is the system we have here. We have first past the post. So the Conservatives got thirty-seven, right? But that thirty-seven is more than any other singular party. Do you see what I mean? If I can just explain this to you. Yeah. Now, the very fact that. 
more people voted for all the other parties is true. Okay, is true. And it may not seem fair. Indeed, to me, it doesn't seem fair. I think myself, you know, probably a proportional representation vote is probably much, much fairer. That's what I, I, I do think that. I do actually think that it would be a lot fairer. But at the moment, in this country, we have first past the post, even though they got less votes than all the other parties, they got more votes than each single party. Do, do, do you see what I mean? Which yeah. means they win. That That's how it works in this country. Um, uh, let me just go to... Uh, Couple of messages here. Just, just a second, darling. Hello to Paul Edwards. He's with us uh, this morning. And hello to Marge, who's a little bit late as she overslept. Be nice if you were one hour later. You didn't have to wait for the winter for that. <laughs> when the clocks go back. Yeah. So even so, you're quite right. That person who sent in the message here, they only got 37% of the vote. Right? Yeah. But then, <laughs> I, I don't know the exact figures, but Labour probably got 24. UKIP got 10% of the vote. That's a lot of votes. I think UKIP might have got about 10, something like that. The Greens got their amount. The and, and, and each one has a certain percentage of the vote. Now, with proportional representation, it would indeed be a lot fairer. So I suppose if you had, like, let, let's, let's make an easy number, right? An easy number. So if you had 100 seats... In right. Parliament, right? Mm -hmm. In that case, the Conservatives would have had 37 of those seats. Yep. Um, Labour would have had 26 of those seats. UKIP yep. would have had 10 of those seats. So it would sound a lot fairer. And I agree. It does sound a lot fairer. And said to me, this is very serious. Well, I don't, I don't usually do serious, but we've got into this somehow today, so that's OK. I don't mind. Is it too much for your aunt? Is the seriousness too much? <laughs> Marge says, do you get stickers to wear after you vote that say I voted? No. No uh, stickers. Actually, stickers? in the US, we do. In the US, we do. I think it's really stupid, but hey. You know. <laughs> but hey, who am I? You know. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's how it works here, and yeah. um, but the, you know, I, I I do agree with the thing. Hello, Anne, Michael. I do agree. I absolutely agree that those who shout loudest shouldn't get their own way. Yeah, they really wouldn't. Yeah. They, re they 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 shouldn't get <laughs> their own. Why should they get their own way? Let's things up a little bit here. I'm so happy for Stacy and Gary on their little. Oh girl. yeah, they've had a little baby, Olivier. Oh. Olivier. Oh. In fact, the funny thing is uh, yeah, but that's my um my nephew and his wife. They just had a little baby girl called Olivier. Isn't that a lovely name? Oh, and, Olivia, uh, Olivia, Olivia, Bridges. Olivia. Yeah, uh, sorry, Olivia, and um. Uh, the uh, she, she sent me a little message yesterday to say when, when when's the best day for you to come up and uh, uh, come to her. Have you seen her yet? A Christian? No, not yet. No, I'm too busy with my work. Too busy <laughs> with my karaoke and all that business, darling. I know. Well, when morning, you Matt. Do, when you do go up there, give her an extra big cuddle from for her auntie Millie. Of course, darling. <laughs> America. Oh, uh, she is just so cute. She's adorable. Oh, <laughs> got to say hello to Matthew. He's just joined us um, from uh, from Croydon this morning. Morning, Matthew. And uh, Marge says to me, Chris, it's very simple on fixing your mirror ball. All you need is a hot glue gun and a roll of aluminium foil. Cut little square. Oh no, aluminium foil won't do that. They're little mirrors. They're no, bits of mirrors. They're bits of mirrors. She, she, yeah, these are these are proper things. The only thing is sending sending a mirror ball in the post would be prohibitively expensive. It would actually be cheaper. You know, for example, <coughs> if I wanted to send it to you, uh, Millie, you know, it would be better for me to order it on Amazon at that end and send a new one to you than send me the old one. But then you, you kind of defeat the whole object, don't you? You know, because oh, I'm, yeah. I'm giving away my mirror ball and not a mirror ball. Do you see what I mean? Right, but I've still I've got something better than your mirror ball. What's that then? 
The Union Jack you gave me, it's still hanging in my room. Oh, the flag. Was that the one with a queen in the middle? The what? Uh, no, it was just the Union Jack. You gave it to me when I was there for the first time in 2009. I remember, yeah, yeah. I you gave you a flag. You totally shocked me with that one. On the first time I had, that... No, I... <laughs> on the first time that you visited, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, he totally, completely shocked oh, me. Oh, Millie. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, my darling, all right? Yep. Okay. Mm, love right, you, you look after yourself, Millie. How's okay. your mum, darling? Is she okay? Coming along? No, honey, she's not. No, well, uh, she's not. Fingers well at crossed, all. my darling. Fingers crossed. Okay. Send Thank her my you. love. I w I will do so. Oh, and there's a message for you. Anne says goodbye, Millie. Bye, Anne. There we are. Bye, Millie. There we are. Millie in Minnesota, boys and girls. There. Lovely ways to talk to her. There. Uh, Aunt, I think you wanted to call in. Uh, Aunt, the phone number from where you are is double o double four. Oh, hang on. There's one coming in there. That might be you now. Is it, Ant? Hello, who's calling in? Hello, hello. It's Anski. Anski calling. Hello, Anski. All right. Well, now, whereabouts are you? Uh, I am from Kizuma, uh, which is a uh, fishing village in Latvia. Yes. And, and we, um, we have a, 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 a fan club here for you. You are very big in Latvia. I'm not big in Latvia. You're winding me. I don't believe you for one minute. <laughs> no, no, uh, Kazuma, you, you know Latvia, the Republic of Latvia? How, how do you spell Kazuma? Let me see. K H A Z O U M A. It's north of Riga, R I G A, which is the capital of Latvia. Kazuma? It is, uh, uh, it is um, the home of the Magua tree. We have the Magua tree, you know, where the fruit of the Magua comes from. And we have a little fishing village. And one of the boats that we fish with is we call Chris Redon. <laughs> and what we do on a Friday night, we push the boat out with candles and some fireworks. And we bow to a statue of, of Chris Redon. <laughs> um, you are big because of the internet here. And obviously, um, we have the uh, Eurovision Song Contest next week. Um, and we will be waving the Latvian flag. <laughs> so this have is, you been to, have, is, is have it, you been to Latvia? Would you like to come? I've been to Slovakia. That's quite close, isn't it? Yeah, well, the Baltic uh, states are Estonia, yes. Lithuania, Russia, Belarus. And uh, we also have a project with the west of Sweden. Um, but Latvia, um, we, are, we are very big Chris Reason fans. Is it, is it, can you get me a photograph of, of this statue of me or, or the boat? Uh, yes, yes. How, how can I send it to you? Oh, you can send it on the email. You've got the email. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, okay, have you got a day... pen handy? I'll give you the email address. Please, please. Chris... At United Kingdom Talk. At United Kingdom Talk, yes. Dot co dot UK. Hold on one second, hold on. Oh, Miska, right. Miska, could you bring me a pen? <laughs> I have Chris Weirdon on the phone from the United Kingdom. Miska is just bringing me a pen. Hold on one second. <laughs> Miska, ah, uh, look, look, it's Chris. Look, look at the, look, it's himself. Look. Ah, uh, the handsome man. You, you, you are very, um, <laughs> In Latvia, you are as big as, how do you say, um, Chris, uh, Bruce Forsyth. Bruce Forsyth? Yes. Oh, yes, I'm... You, are, you are bigger than Bruce Forsyth. No, yes. really? Now, did, yes. you, did you say, where, what, Katu, was it Katuba or was it? No, no, we are north of Riga, R-I-G-A. Is that the capital of Latvia? Yes, but we are in a fishing village, um called Kazuma, but there is only the inhabitants are only 200 here. Well, I, I've never heard of it. I mean, I've got the capital of Latvia as uh, Riga. Is it Riga? It's Riga, yes, it's Riga. We are north of Riga in a shipping village called Kazuma. Kazuma. Do you I... know Bandava? If, if you type in Bandava, B-A-N-D-A-V-A. B-A-N-D-A-V-A. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, 
old Curian land in the late Iron, T- Iron Age, no? Yes, in the 12th century in, in Latvia, um, Bandava and Kazuma were at war, and we basically, um, we, 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 won, we won, and now, to the pound, there is 427 us. <laughs> Are you sure you're not in Lanzarote? Lanzarote, no. No, well, where, where is it now? Um, not I, that, not... I don't like Lanzarote. No, you don't like it there? No, no. On holiday, we, if we ever, uh, Ladlian ever comes to um, uh, England, we go to the lovely town of Lewisham. Of where? Lewisham. It's Le- just south. Lewis- Lewisham. It's, it's south of London. Lewisham? You don't go to Lewisham, do you? Oh, That's a very dangerous yeah, place. Yeah. You've got people like Anne wandering around there, dear. If you go to Lewisham, yes. we are twins. You know twin cities. We are twins with Lewisham. Yes. Latvia and Lewisham, yes. My God. And what places... I mean, you, you, you sound remarkably like one of my friends, Keith. No, I am not Keith. I, my, na- my real name is An- An- Anski, but in England you would call it Anthony. Anthony. Yes, but my real name is on my passport, on my birth certificate. I can't even speak. I'm so nervous talking to such a celebrity. Oh, it's don't be silly. You know, you know, no need to be nervous talking to me. We're all friends here. Do you do karaoke at all, Ant? I do. I love, um, how do you say, Baza. You know Baza? Baza. <gasps> what, Barry Manilow? Baza Manilow. But <laughs> one day, one day, hold on one second. Misha, Misha, I'm going to sing with uh, Chris Redon on the air. Hold on one second. Um, could one day I do a duet with you, a, ba- a Baza Manolo? Of duet? course, of course. Just turn up at any one of the places I do the karaoke, and you can come and do a little duet with me. We can do, um, I don't know, I, I don't know, whatever, whatever one you want. You know, I quite like It's a Miracle, you know? It would, would you like to do a, a little duet now with me? Yes, please, Chris. This would would be you like an that? It, it would be an honour for me. It would be an honour for me, to be honest. Hang on, let's let, let's see if I can find this song for you. It's, I uh, am going to send this video to... We have a radio station yes? called Lad, Latvia Loves Music. Latvia Loves Music. And I am going to send it in. Oh, OK, we'll send that through. Now, let me see if I can find the uh, the music to this one. <coughs> Do you know It's a Miracle? Oh, I know all of uh, Baza's... Baza, uh, Have you ever uh, seen Barry? I once saw him when he came to Asia in 1982. I didn't know but he'd been there. Oh, in Latvia, he is only second to you. Really? Yes, Chris <laughs> Whedon is our, is our, is like the president. He's, 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 uh, we call him Numero Uno, uh, number one. We say. Yes. Uh, number two is Barry Manilow. Well, I can't see any record here of Barry being to Latvia. Well, no, he performed. He performed uh, in 1982. Was it? What, in Latvia? Yes, in Riga, which is our capital. No, I can't see that here at all. It's a miracle, a true blue spectacle, a miracle come true. Right, here it is. I found it. I found it. Look at this. We can sing this together, my friend. All right, are you ready? Okay, okay. Tell me if you can hear the... Can you hear the music, okay? Listen. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful music. Right. I'll start off and then you carry on, okay? And we will sing this together, my friend. We will absolutely sing this together. Latvia and UK, we come as one together. Yeah. We are one happy family here at United Kingdom Talk, my friend. Yes. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. You wouldn't believe where I've been. The cities and towns I've been in. From Boston to Denver. And every town in between. Your turn. The people they all the same. Only the name they can change. But now that I'm home again, I'll tell you what we believe. It's a miracle. 
A true blue spectacular miracle come true I was going crazy till the miracle come through Oh that's very good, very good indeed Very good Miska is in tears Is she crying? Is she a big Barry fan? No, she loves me. We've been married for 32 years. Oh, that's a long time. Where did you meet? We met her uh, just north of Lewisham in a place called Purley, just outside of Croydon. Purley? Oh, well, I mean, that's that, I, I, I think that's completely different from Lewisham. Purley is very nice. Purley is lovely. Um, we, we say, um, uh, Purley, when you go to heaven in Latvia, you go to the gates of the Purley. Yes. Are you hoping to go there at some point soon? Where? To heaven? Yes. Or to Purley? Pearl, well, both of them. They're both the no, same heaven, place, I aren't they? Want... <laughs> your your humour. I love the British humour. Uh, no, I, um, I want, don't want to get to um, heaven, of course, because I, I love my life here. Uh, but I, I would like to go to Lewisham because that, uh, my heart is in Lewisham. I love Lewisham. They have a shop there. It's so funny. It is called Pound Land. And you go <laughs> with one pound and you can buy anything in the store. Anything for one pound. You can't believe it. I hope, I would, li I, I would hope that you can't go in there and buy Barry Manilow albums for one pound. That would, that would, that would, that would oh. be quite hurtful, to be honest, to know that. In, in Latvia, um, you, you, uh, Barry Manilow um, uh, music, uh, record, uh, costs 422 um, uh, kronva, which is equivalent to six months' wages. Good. For, for one album? For one Barry Manilow record. And tell uh, me, people, people, people would happily save that man up to buy that, would they? Yes, because they love him. In Latvia, he's only number two to you. Yes. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Um, what? I love you. I have to go because the um the the cows they need a the milking. They will not milk on their own. No. Okay. Well, it's been wonderful talking to you, Aunt. Again, we love you. Kazuma loves you. Mishka loves you. I love you. Kazuma loves you. I love you too. Don't forget to send through the pictures of the boat and the uh, the, and the statue boat, of and me. Don't know the statue. Okay, yeah. The please. Boat. Bye bye okay. now. Greetings, greetings to everyone. Bye bye, Aunt. Afshaginko. Af <laughs> Can you just imagine people bowing down to a statue of me? <laughs> oh, we had a wonderful call on Wednesday from Marge, I have to tell you. And um, thank you, Ant. <clears throat> And we had, and we've just had a wonderful call. To, oh, that was just fantastic. That call, absolutely fantastic. And please call in again on another show. It was absolutely awesome. Now I've I've got um. <laughs> See, we do serious. We do funny. Oh, you know, very lovely. We don't, I have no, no intention of going on to that whole election thing today. That just happened, didn't it? Now let's see if we've got some messages here. Um. Thank you, Terry. Yes, I think so as well. I think so as well. Uh, Marge says, I love the way you say aluminium. How about breaking up a mirror with a glass cutter? That would work. Well, I haven't got a glass cutter, Marge. Where would I get a glass cutter from? That would work. Cut up a small mirror, then use a hot glue gun. But then when you break the mirror, you have seven years bad luck. Well, you can't win, can you, Marge? You're absolutely right. No, I, I'm going to... I'll I'll do something with that old mirror ball. I'll give it away to someone or, or something. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that. Uh, I don't think a competition would work because you're just all... Um, you'll all look it up, wouldn't you, on your mobile phones and things. Hello to Ross. Um, uh, OK, Ross is on the phone. Now, Ross used to do his own uh, radio shows as well, boys and girls, and he's calling in now... And I've got him. Oh, can you? I'll have to. Just a second. No, we can't do video. One second. Um, let me see. That's it. There we are. Hello, Ross. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, lovely to hear you and see you. Unfortunately, not everyone. Uh, no one else can see you. Only me. Can you? You can see us. Can, I've got Emily here. Can you see us? Look how old she is now. How old is your girl now? How old are you, Emily? Tell Chris. Four. 
You four years old? Gosh, that's old, isn't it? Not as old as Daddy, though. He looks very, very old, doesn't he, Emily? I got no hair, have I? Yeah. What, where's your hair going? Look, don't, Ross. Mine's going as well. You no, can't see it at the moment. Yeah. yeah, mine went. Now, let me tell you, Ross uh, and I used to be on a radio show called CMP, didn't we? How long ago yeah. was that? 2003. Such a long time ago now, isn't it? Look how this has all come along. No. Look how it's all come along. Do you still do your little radio shows, Ross? Um, I'm starting again on Wednesday because Sophie, my one-year-old, is um, starting nursery on Wednesday. Right. She started last week. Yes. So I'm gonna, I've got Wednesdays to myself, so I'm going to be doing a Wednesday afternoon show for a little while. Lovely. And what station is that on, please? Um, Reach. Are you going back on Reach? Yeah, yeah. The, the schedule's looking a little bit sparse on there. I must say, yeah, they need someone else. They need some more people on there. I know. Really. I've got to try and spread the word a bit. Yeah, you do. We'll just put it on your Facebook and on your um, uh, uh, Twitter and all that business. So, well, for... we we'll made some cakes, and she want to show you the cakes she's made. Can you see them? Oh, please send me one. They look nice. Don't they? And we made some cornflake cakes, didn't we? Little cakes. Mm. Yeah. But is there going to be any icing on them? No, no icing. Advice, or we? Smarties. You can put Smarties on the top. We ain't got any Smarties, have we? Well, maybe no. we can go and get some, can we? Yeah. Well, go, you make your dad go out and get you some Smarties. Tell him yeah. Tell him Uncle Chris says to get Smarties as well and put them on the top of the cakes because that we, will make them nice and chocolatey. Mmm, we, we like chocolate. chocolate. So, Ross, um, yeah. four years now of being a dad. Yeah. Great, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice this, but, um, all worth it. This is where us gays miss out, you see. You know, <laughs> we may have a bit more money, but believe me, you're much richer than 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 me. You're no, much richer with me with a family. Well. It's hard work, but it's worth every minute. Yeah, good. Have you moved yet at all, or? No, no. We still. My my missus wants to move, but I can't be bothered. How many How many bedrooms have you got there? Three. So you got enough? Are they? Is it two girls you've got? Sorry. Two girls. That's it. No more. Oh, so you're okay there for about another about another six years before yeah, they want the right. Like oh, I'm going to sneeze, Ross. No oh, God, cool, dear. Right. Well, sir, have a lovely day. Thank you very much. Just and Emily, Emily, you are very beautiful, darling. You can say bye to Chrissy. Bye. I'm going to blow you a kiss. Listen. Mwah. All right. Can you blow one back? Go. Oh, bless her heart. Bye-bye, Emily. See ya. See you, Ross. There we are. Ross and Emily on the phone there uh, from Norwich. Oh, how lovely. I haven't seen Ross for ages. I haven't spoke to him for ages, that is. And uh, Paul says hello to you as well. All right, Paul Edwards says hello to you as well. Um, got a couple of uh, emails here I'd like to read out, boys and girls, before we go today. And then we'll be out of time. Let me just blow my nose a second. One minute. I thought I was going to go into one of my many sneezing fits then, but it didn't quite happen. And uh, Chris, Chris, who is a Periscope person, he's he's discovered the show through Periscope. And um, Chris says, OK, this will be my last. Oh, hang on. When will this video be able to watch on YouTube? Uh, about five o'clock, round about five o'clock. OK. You'll find that on YouTube. If you go to youtube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK, you'll find it on there. Or if you go to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, halfway down there, you'll see three little video screens. There's a Saturday show one, a Monday to Friday one, and a Wednesday night one. The Saturday one at the moment is showing last Saturday's video. It will change to this Saturday's video uh, about uh, round about five or six o'clock, okay? It changes over. Ant wants to show it to the whole village down there in Latvia. Yes, I'd be very pleased. Maybe you could have big screens put up to carry the show live, you know, in Riga. I don't know how well that would work, really, but uh, worth a try. Um, right, uh, Chris writes, uh, this will be my last email this week. I'm bordering on creepy if I keep this up. This is like my fourth email this week. That's fine, Chris. No problem at all. You send as many emails as you want, my friend. OK, as many emails as you want. No problem. Um, I've just got a call on hold there. So whoever that's calling in, I've just got you on hold there for a second. All right. So hold on there and I'll be with you in a couple of minutes. Uh, the email goes on to say, so as you know, I'm a Chris Reardon noob. 
that is someone who has disco discovered your famous worldwide show. <laughs> what planet are you lot on today? Famous worldwide show. And as a new fan of the show, I've gone to your website to catch up on old episodes only to find millions and millions of videos. How can a new fan catch up on your shows when you have so many? Well, you just have to do your best, dear. Do your best. Do you happen to have any best of Chris Reardon episodes? Maybe a top ten. No, I, I don't have such a thing. But I think there is a way that you can put them in order of viewers. So the one with the highest number of viewers will be at the top. I, I think there's a way you can do that, but I, don't ask me how, I'm afraid. Um, maybe ask your friends of the show, what are your personal top ten Chris Reardon shows? There you go. Who fell off the chair, Wendy? After watching the Mirable Scandal li video live on Periscope on Wednesday, I had to go and view the notorious Christmas video where your ball fall off, fell off. It was well worth the hours of scrolling through the piles and piles of video to find it. I promised last email for a few days, and that's from Chris, otherwise known as SVTV. OK, all right, so thank you very much. Anne is just about to leave us. Bye-bye, Anne. See you, Anne. And uh, on the phone now, who's calling in now? I bet you can't guess. Oh, no, it's you, dear. Hello, it's best friend Ron. Hello. Hello, how are you? Have you have you had me on for the whole show? Have I been on in the background? Yeah, I've had you on with a little bit of white noise in the background. Little bit of noise? Yeah, a little bit of white noise, dear. What do you mean? A little bit of white noise. Wendy says hello. Hello, Wendy. She's lovely, Wendy. We love now, Wendy. a couple of things. Yes, you were a tramp until I started to make you buy nice clothes. Yes. Hello, James. Oh, you know, James, James wants to say hello to you. Hello, James. You was a tramp. Yes. You know you was a tramp. Well, even even on my shows. No, 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 no. You always made an effort for that for that hour. Yes. That you would put on a clean shirt, and then as soon as you had finished, you'd run back downstairs and put on a top that you've had on for four days with food down the front of it. <laughs> tell me, I'm lying. I cannot tell you you're lying, though. That's exactly. the thing. I can't tell you you're see? lying. So, mini mini from Minnesota. I'm sorry, my darling, but you are wrong. He was and still is occasionally a tramp. So you've actually been listening to the whole show today? No, 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 no. Just bits and pieces as I've been in but and you out have, of the have, haven't you? Playing. You have been listening to the whole show. No, I've got, um, I've, I've got a device, one in the front room, one upstairs and one in the kitchen. Yes, because you've, so you've got Apple everywhere, haven't you? Yeah, I've got apples everywhere. I'm like the man from Del Monte. Yeah, but they're in a tin. I'd love to see you cut. I'd love to see you in a tin, actually. That'd be quite yeah. nice. I could just now, what you were saying about proportional representation? Yes. A little, uh, a little thing on that. The reason why the English people voted against it at the time was because that was the way that they thought that the Liberal Democrats were trying to get in power. That was why. If they'd have known now that it would have got UKIP in power the party of the people that I'm proud to, to, rep to be a representative of and support, um, then, then it could, could have been a totally different matter. They would have been the, they would have been the second, biggest, second biggest party in power now, and they would be the opposition. Labour are finished. Labour are, 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 I would say, are finished. There, there's, there's going to be some real changes in Westminster, and unfortunately, the Conservatives can pretty much do what they want for the first 100 days. So look out for some some very drastic changes. We've got a we've got a mini budget coming up on I think it's July the fourth. Sorry, sorry, just um, a minute. I need to turn you up a bit. Someone said they can't hear. Is that? Better? Yeah, I, I think there's a mini budget coming up. Oh yes, that's in July. Yeah, July the fourth. There is, there is and, one uh, coming up. I saw, shop I saw that. There because saw they've that. got no one. They've got no one to, uh, to to hold them to ransom now. I saw they've that. Got no, that. they're not in a coalition. There's yeah. no opposition. You know that he's at the moment. He's very, very smug, Mr. Cameron. He can do what he's he likes. For, they reckon he can do anything he likes for a hundred days unopposed. Yeah, un unopposed. I mean, the only thorn that he has is that Sturgeon woman up up north. Right. But you know, apparently he's already slapped her down and said no to another referendum. But she can cause waves, not big ones, but she can cause waves at the end of the day. Hmm. And it wouldn't be surprised if, if, if she drops her hair, which looks like a, a frozen wig, into the water. That, that would make massive waves. Oh, you're so awful. Say, say that about <laughs> people's hairs, dear. 
Oh, okay, so now we that, so that 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 that's your opinion on why we didn't go to the um uh proportional representation. But you know, the thing is, you know, we've had the vote. The vote's done. That's it. Uh, I don't well, yeah, understand I know, these people to, that scream, without, with, with, screaming, without and, screaming and shouting all the time. Uh, that oh no, it's the wrong vote. And uh, no, it's the wrong vote because that's the result that you wanted and you didn't get, isn't it? I mean, all of, all of that demonstrating and whatnot. They had the chance to change it to proportional representation yes. a few years ago, and they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So live with live with the consequences of your actions. That's what I say. That's right. You know, and and, and we will. Unfortunately, you know, I I, I, I fear for the the elderly, the disabled, and the uh, and the sick because they're the ones that the the government seem to to to, to want to uh, you know make the make out the the evil ones of of society. Yes, indeed. You know, it's you know it's a, it's a very it's a very difficult situation. They say, they go on about vulnerability and they want to protect them. But they want to tax their benefits now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's awful. It's just, it's just wrong. It's just very, very yes, wrong. Indeed. You know, they want to take away, you know, the well, uh, the same as the winter fuel payments. They want to take them away from the wealthier people. Mm. Why? The wealthier people have put in the most amount of tax. Yeah. Their entire the, the whole point of of, of of national insurance was to was is 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 to, so that in older age you have a you have an, a safety net. Whether you've got a million or or, or one pound. It doesn't matter. You've paid into that system. You should be able to use that system. I don't know. I'm very um. I'm, I'd like to. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen over the next hundred days. Yeah, well, it's a shame Especially with your clothing. It's, it's, Especially with your clothing. I, Hopefully, I think you'll stop more, wearing thirty two shirts think some and jumpers more for four days. You're going to get me some jackets when you go over to the states, aren't you? You're going to bring me a couple of those back, aren't you, my love? Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, now, I'm off you, to um, do you want to come around for? T- are you coming around for lunch, dear? Uh, no, not today, dear. I'm still. Um, I'm. St- I, I've, I've been dozing, dear. Have you? I've, I've been dozing on the sofa. I'm still in my pyjamas. Oh, how awful. Yeah. Get up and get dressed. Oh. I've got to go because we're out of time. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye, Cora. Thank bye-bye. Uh, uh, thank you very much for taking my call. Cheerio. And bye-bye, everybody else who's listened to the show. And oh, one very quick last me. comment. Yes. The guy that wants to catch up, it just goes back four viewers, three viewers, two viewers, and one viewers. It's very, very easy. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> There's Ron on the phone. There we are, and we're out of time today, boys and girls. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, you can catch up with my latest videos. You can always find those at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. That's the main page of everything that I do there. There's three little video windows, and then you can go to the YouTube videos and everything there as well. Um, I'm on Periscope as well. Periscope username is Chris Reardon UK. I tend to do one or two live little shows a day, and if you miss them on there, you can either watch the recordings via Periscope, or I then put them up onto my Facebook wall as well now. And my Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. It's the same on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. And... Periscope, Chris Reed in the UK, always, always that. All right, have a lovely Saturday and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye bye now.